Hello well, guys, today I'll be giving you a CD pickup video. I got multiple CDs today, so let's go ahead and get started. So, first CD I want to show you is Technocracy by Corrosion of Conformity. And this is an EP, and this version comes with bonus tracks, uh, four added tracks, and uh, is this one of the best works? Um, in my opinion, no, but it does have some decent stuff on it though. Um, the title track is probably my favorite on the album, but overall it's a decent EP. And then next we have X by Def Leppard. Uh, this is a special edition which comes with two exclusive tracks or bonus tracks. And in my opinion, I think it's their worst album. Overall, I'm not a big fan of this album, but I do like the song Now. Um, that's one of the singles off the album. I do like that song though, but the rest of the album just doesn't do much for me. Then we got the album Yeah. And this version comes with a bonus CD, uh, which has interviews on it. Um, it's a covers album, and in my opinion, it's probably very, out of out of all the albums in their discography, this one's probably has the most forgettable songs, at least in my opinion. Now, this album, it's not terrible, it's not bad, it's just, it just lacks replay value in general for me personally, but, and I just rarely have much desire to return to it, but, it's, again, it's not bad, though. Then we have this album, Songs from the Sparkle Lounge. Um, not a good album title, but the album, um, of the 2000s work, this one's probably the best one, but while saying that, I still think this album is just okay, not one of their better albums. I think the album after this one, the self-titled, is much better. But this album does have its highlights, though. I think Go is a good song. Uh, Cruise Control uh, and Tomorrow are also pretty good, too. This album does have some decent material on it, but it's not one of their best. And then the final CD for today, Life of Agony, Broken Valley. Not one of their best, but I do like Love to Let You Down. Uh, I believe that's the lead single from the album, and I think that song is pretty good. But the rest of the album, um, a few moments that I think are decent, but overall I just don't think it's all that strong of an album. Also, the production and mixing isn't all that great. Um, it's from it's produced and mixed by Greg Fiddleman. But, um, I mean, you have the song Junk Sick, which um, it has some good riffs, but, my, but then we get to the main problem on the album for me personally. Uh, Keith's vocals, I mean, I know that he goes by Mina now, but on this album he still went by Keith, but his vocal performance on this album just does not do it for me. In this album, I thought he sounded like a poor man, Scott Weiland. I might get flack for that, but that's just my personal opinion, um, especially with songs like Last Cigarette, especially, but... I mean, again, Love to Let You Down, I think that's a good song, though, but overall, not that strong of an album, but... I'd say still worth owning though. But anyways, so those are my pickups for today. Let me know your thoughts on my pickups. Do you have any of these CDs? Do you listen to any of these bands? And all that good stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, hit like, subscribe. Have a nice day and take care.